Kevin Malone, you're next. Spit that out. Spit. Okay, come on, let's go. You look cute today, Dwight. Thanks, girl. So, yesterday, Dwight found half a joint in the parking lot. Which is unfortunate because, as it turns out, Dwight finding drugs is more dangerous than most people using drugs. Employees of this office are very small and delicate, deserve protection from local pervs. Better a thousand innocent men are locked up than one guilty man roam free. I am sick over this thing. Those people out there are clearly afraid, and that can't happen. Not in my house. Agreed. Let me show you what I've been working on. There are several penises there. I'd love Phyllis to run her eyes over and I'll see if we can catch this pervert. This is the last thing that Phyllis needs to see right now, Dwight. Look at that one. Dwight, are those your pants? That's a Polaroid. Attention, everybody. Dwight has something he would like to say. Due to a recent incident involving Phyllis, a man, a map, and his penis, I think you know what I'm referring to. Michael has authorized me to form an emergency anti-flashing task force. Question, won't that interfere with your other task forces? Answer, no, because this is being given priority one. This is a petition for the business park to upgrade their security cameras, as well as install two floodlights in the parking lot. And I know, I know what you're thinking. Won't that just shed more light on the penises? But that is a risk we have to take. Pam. You can draw, kind of. Why don't you work with Phallus on drawing a picture of the exposer that I can post around the community? Phallus? Phyllis, sorry. I've got penises on the brain. I didn't know that you were at a party on Saturday night. I go to a lot of parties. Okay, I'm gonna need to search your car. Give me your keys. I am not giving you my keys. Don't make me do this the hard way. What's the hard way? I go down to the police station on my lunch break. I tell a police officer, I know several, what I suspect you may have in your car. He requests a hearing from a judge and obtains a search warrant. Once he has said warrant, he will drive over here and make you give him the keys to your car and you will have to obey him. Yeah, let's do it that way. Right. Is he bugging you? Dwight, dude, you gotta take a chill pill, man. It was one joint in the parking lot. You know, you're. You're totally harshing the office mellow. I can't stop this investigation. It is my job. Whoa, you are a volunteer. I volunteered for this job. And that's not the same. It is my duty. Volunteer duty. To investigate the crime scene. I have six more interviews to go, and then I will reveal what I know. <coughs> Narc! <laughs> if you're attempting to compliment me, then you have done a very good job. I wasn't attempting to compliment you. Well, you have, I, well, because being an arc is one of the hardest jobs that you can have. Okay. And I am very proud Why of being an Why don't you just arc. cool it, cool it, so, Dwight, please? God. Dude, where's my office? I totally lost it. Because I was half-baked, smoking doobies. Doobie brothers, I was smoking doobies with my brothers. Peace out, Seacrest. Well, your office is behind you. Thanks. Munchies! Who wants some munchies? I don't think Michael's ever done drugs. I don't know if anyone's ever offered him any. Oscar visited Mexico when he was five to attend his great-grandmother's funeral. What does that mean to a United States law enforcement officer? He's a potential drug mule. Have you ever taken any illegal drugs? No, I have not. Do you think it's possible that maybe you could have had some drugs in your system without you knowing about it? What are you implying? Have you ever pooped a balloon? Okay, I'm done with this. He sure left in a hurry. I don't want to blow this. This is what all good law enforcement officers dream of. The chance to solve an actual crime. Do you know what this is? Yes, it's marijuana. How do you know that? It's labeled. Damn it. <laughs> that is Northern Lights Cannabis Indica. No. It's marijuana. 
I'm just saying that you can't be sure that it wasn't you. That's ridiculous. Of course it wasn't me. Marijuana is a memory lost drug, so maybe you just don't remember. I would remember. Well, how could you if it just erased your memory? That's not how it works. Now, how do you know how it works? Knock it off, okay? I'm interviewing you. No, you said that I'd be conducting the interview when I walked in here. Now, exactly how much pot did you smoke? Jim is in charge of Stanley only in sales-related matters, hence the green line, green for money, sales, get it? Uh -huh. There is this yellow zigzag that does give Ryan the authority to discipline Stanley. Great. However, in so doing, it zigs past your name, hence zagging you and making you appear weak. That's the yellow color, yellow for cowardly. What's the pink? Menstrual cycles. Okay. Is there anybody up here, anybody at all, that can deal with this? You. Other than me. Well, there is the emergency disaster mode for the org chart. This gives me full authority over every single person in the office. I never said you could. All do you that. have to do is say it. I'm... Just say it. Okay, I'll think about it. Say it. Just do it. Don't think. Say it. Do it. Five, four, three, two, do it. Give me control, Michael. to give authority back to you when this crisis is over. Do it, Michael. Do it. Hey, this office needs a strong man. Say it. No. So. All right, well, you're gonna have to deal with this yourself. What's this? That is a demerit. Jim Halpert, tardiness. Oh, I love it already. You gotta learn, Jim. You are second in command, but that does not put you above the law. Oh, I understand. And I also have lots of questions, like what does a demerit mean? Let's put it this way. You do not want to receive three of those. Lay it on me. Three demerits, and you'll receive a citation. Now that sounds serious. Oh, it is serious. Five citations, and you're looking at a violation. Four of those, and you'll receive a verbal warning. Keep it up, and you're looking at a written warning. Two of those, that'll land you in a world of hurt. In the form of a disciplinary review, written up by me and placed on the desk of my immediate superior. Which would be me. That is correct. Okay, I want a copy on my desk by the end of the day, or you will receive a full desagulation. What's a dis... what's that? Oh, you don't want to know. So do you want to see it or not? I don't know. I like Friday Night Crowds. Oh my God, you're like agoraphobic. Agoraphobic? Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> you would rather sit on your couch and watch a Phillies game than go out to a movie with your awesome girlfriend. Absolutely correct. <laughs> Later, Jim. Kev, have a good weekend. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. Okay, so this is what's gonna happen. You're gonna suck it up. Here we go. And we're gonna go to dinner. Okay. And then we're gonna go to the movies. Sounds good. Hey, help her! Hey. Right! Ah! Right! Ah! 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 <laughs> Pam, please call security. Every day for eight years, I have brought pepper spray into this office to protect myself and my fellow employees. And every day for eight years, people have laughed at me. Well, who's laughing now? I graduated from anger management the same way I graduated from Cornell. On time. Now I'm back, got a second chance, and I'm not gonna blow it. So look out, Dunder Mifflin! <laughs> I mean, look out in a fun way, you know, not like I'm gonna hurt you. Hey guys, guess who's back? No need to thank me. Ah! I am not a hero. I am a mere defender of the office. Do you know who's a real hero? Hero from Heroes. That's a hero. Also, Bono. <laughs>